Hello, this is Dave from Retired Tire Productions, and I want to welcome you to the Twisted Hobbies Step 1 FPV Plane Build Series. Under 250 grams, Part 4. So let's start uh, Part 4 of this series by putting the servos onto the control surfaces and testing those. So I have the two BMS 303 micro servos here, and I'm going to be installing them in the wing. And this is a little Y cable, doesn't look like a Y, but it is a Y cable that John made up by just uh, soldering leads onto a header pin like that. So this is just a servo lead that is soldered onto a header pin and then the servos just plug onto that. So with a Y harness you normally have one servo facing one way and one servo facing the other way. And that's how I assume it should be done. But I ran into a little snag. The problem was my servos are actually opposite in direction. As you can see here when I move the servo tester, they go opposite directions. Now these are supposed to be the same servo, the same part number. I ordered them at the same time from the same manufacturer, yet they're backwards. Now that isn't normal. Normally when you order two servos, they're both the same. And they both go the same direction. And I've never seen this happen before where one goes one way and one the other. So I'm going to have to compensate for that. Now for my control rods I use some of these paper clips that I got from Staples. These are the small size paper clip. So here's my paper clip mounted on the control horn like that. So the way I made the Z-bends on the end of the paper clip was uh, very simple. I'll just show you here. You just open up the paper clip and make it into a straight wire. And then to make the Z-bend, simply take a pair of needle nose pliers, just bend it this way on a 90 degree, like that, then get the pliers up against it, like this, and bend it back the other way at a 90 degree. And that makes a Z-bend. So to compensate for the servos going opposite directions, I have mounted one embedded into the wing this way, and the other is going to be flat. I'll just hot melt these once I get them in position. And here is how they work. I'll just hold one of them here. And you can see they go opposite directions. So with my servo tester set in the neutral position, I'm going to go ahead and hot melt in the two servos with the ailerons flush with the wing. Even if your control rods aren't exactly the same length, it doesn't matter because when I put hot melt on this servo, I can move it until the aileron is flush with the wing like that, and then just hold it till the hot melt dries. That way I get an exact fit every time, even though these rods are not adjustable. So the servo tester is on, and I'm going to put it in neutral. Hot melt is ready. Let's go ahead and set the servos. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a little hot melt on here. We'll see about where it's going to be. Right about there. And, well, I'll just go ahead and put the hot melt on the back of the servo here. Try not to get any on the arm. And it's very hot, so now I'll just get this so it looks level. And felt like that looks pretty good. And yeah, it's right here even. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back and just put a little more hot melt on. Don't want to use too much because we're trying to save weight. Let's put a little on each side there. Okay, now we're going to do the other one. Looks like the servo needs to come forward a little more than I got it here. And cut a little more of this hole out. Okay, the hole is cut out. And let's see how we can do it now. Yeah, that's looking pretty, pretty even there. Yeah, I think that'll do it. I think I can get away with this hot melting it as it sits. We'll do a little bit here. There, that's the one I'm using in case somebody asks. 
I think you can get it at most hardware stores, but it works really good. It has this uh, metal tip on it, and I'll tell you what, it gets hotter than most of them, so you got to be careful. But it's very accurate since it's got that fine tip. Okay, so if I put the servo tester in manual like this, I can try them out. And there they are. Look like they're working pretty good. Now I could have mounted this servo the same way as this one over here or vice versa. But the problem was I would lose my balance as far as the weight goes because I would have to take this servo and place it on this side of the horn over here. And that would put it out further on the wing than this one. So I had to kind of compromise. Did I want symmetry or did I want balance? And I went for balance. But either way, it comes out ugly. You've got to have symmetry and balance to make it look good. But um, I just went with balance because we want to be able to fly it. So next, I think I'm going to go ahead and glue the wing on. And uh, I need to cut out a little notch right here for the servo Y connector. So here is the groove I just cut out right here. And then I also made a little valley right in here for the wire to go through. So there is the test fit right there. And now I think I'm going to go and glue the wing with some welder glue, which is kind of a shoe glue. So I'm going to apply some welder right along here. The welder is this stuff right here. Okay, so... And this is something that you have to let tack up for about five minutes. So I usually put some on, press the two pieces together, and then... Pull them back apart again. That's why I'm putting a lot on here because this is going to be for the other, for the wing too. When I press them together, this will transfer it to the wing. And it doesn't seem to affect this foam. That all it affects is me because it's got a strong odor. Okay, cables are situated. Let's just press it down. Just pressing it down here. I'm cleaning my fingers while I'm waiting. So, pressing it down. Alright, now I'm going to pull it back apart. And let it tack up for five minutes. Now that the welder's glue on the wing is tacked up, let's go ahead and put the wing in place. Okay, down it goes. Now I'm just pressing it into place. Making sure the wing's on about 90 degrees. Oh. I know the wing's going to hold. No question about that. Okay, so there it is. Now we'll just let it dry. Okay, now I'm just going to do the same thing with the tail piece here with the uh, horizontal stabilizer using the same welder's glue. I've applied some there and now I'm just going to press this on. Move it around and then let it tack up for five minutes. Okay, now while that's tacking up, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this servo horn in. There was already a slot cut by the factory. So this is a servo horn I just happen to have, so I'm gonna use that and just put that in there for the elevator. I also took a popsicle stick and kind of pressed along this line just to kind of compress that to make the hinge that they provided easier to function. Okay, it's been tacking up for about five minutes. So let's go ahead and, uh, and apply the horizontal stabilizer. Now I'm just going to look down the line of the plane and, and try to make it, see how that's a little bit slanted to the right? I'm going to try to straighten it out by pressing down on it until it looks right even with the wing. All right, now let's put the vertical stabilizer on. I'll go ahead and uh, apply welder's glue again. Now, I know welder's glue is heavier than CA, but uh, it's very strong. And uh, I, th I just feel safer using that than CA because I'm afraid CA might crack loose. And this will not. So now I'm just going to press it in. As usual, I'm going to pull it out and let it tack up. 
our vertical stabilizer is tacked up enough let's go ahead and put it in there and again I'm going to try to make sure it's straight up and down as possible I noticed it wasn't pushed down far enough so I just pushed it down some more and that looks pretty good so let's let it dry weather update plop just got nine inches of snow So I'll probably use a larger 5 gram servo for the elevator, but I haven't decided where I'm going to place it yet. And that will require me putting this plane on the CG machine, putting all the equipment on it, and figure out where this servo is going to go. We'll do that next time. Any comments you got, just leave it under the video. We're moving along here. Keep your pipe.